welcome to our 33rd episode wow. of Healthy Living with Marilyn. We are in season two, episode 13, lucky 13. I want to welcome you to Healthy Living with Marilyn and welcome you to my den because we have it here in my den. That's right. And my name is Dr. Marilyn Scott. And Josie has been my co-host hello, since hello. the beginning, and we have been doing this now. Josie, eight months today. I'm having labor pains. I know. I know, <laughs> me too. Eight months today, we have been ha doing this show. Wow. Is that cool or what? That is, that is. And we are rocking and rolling. So if you see me on Facebook, I will not be able to answer any of your comments, but please leave your comments, send your emojis, mm -hmm. tell me what you like, what you don't like, and I promise you, after the show, when I get a chance to just unwind for a little bit, mm -hmm. I will answer every single one of your comments, and I will respond to every single one of them. And if you're on YouTube, welcome to Healthy Living with Marilyn. I'm so glad that you could be with us this evening. And if you would please subscribe, I would appreciate it. And any of you, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go. This is the easy way to do it. Go to my website, which is healthylivingwithmarilyn.com. Go over to links. Scroll down to YouTube, click on YouTube, and it goes directly to my YouTube channel, and you can press the little red word that says subscribe. subscribe. So I'm working on pushing 200 subscribers. Yes. By the end of the year. By the end of the year. Well, that's, yeah. That's, it's possible. It's Anything is possible. I believe. Anything I is believe. possible. So tonight, this, I'm so glad that we're all dressed up, and it's festive, and Everything is wonderful. It's the holiday season. I don't know if all of you have started your Christmas shopping. I sort of started. I'm pretty much done. Mm -hmm, me too. Yeah, I'm done. I've just got to get some Christmas cards out. But if you haven't, yeah, today they had an extension of Black Friday or Cyber Monday, what? and it's Thursday. Yes. I got some <laughs> emails that said, oh, well, we're going to extend Black Friday. Uh, it's Thursday. Really? All day? Mm, all day, all day. So is it tomorrow? I don't know when it is. I, uh, I deleted it. It was like I'm not messing with that. It doesn't mm -hmm. make sense to me. They keep elongating these things. They just want but, our money. I know, I know. They want our money, right. We're going to be talking tonight the healthy way of where the look of success. And we have a wonderful guest. My guest tonight is Linda Rubin. She is an image consultant. And we have a bunch of drapes that she's going to drape all over mm -hmm. us to see what colors look good with us, what colors don't look good with us, mm -hmm. you know. And and she has a company called Wear the Look of Success and Knock Them Dead at Any Age. At Any Age. Mm. Way cool, huh? Because I don't care how old you are, you can still look great. And You're Josie and I were feel. talking in the previews that you've got nanoseconds mm -hmm. to make an impression to make a good impression and you only get one first impression that's right you only you don't get a second chance you know you get one first impression mm -hmm. so you want to make it good so you want to look good so you want to find colors that look good on you like this beautiful blue i used to have a car that I color love that. Mm, wonderful it electric. wasn't sparkly like that now it's called electric blue mm. yeah i mm -hmm. used to have when my kids were growing up i had a hat i had gloves i had shoes i had a winter coat i mean that was oh. my color mm -hmm. in the 80s and 90s really and I had a I had a car that color. It's Still one is. of it's one of my favorite mm -hmm. colors. Absolutely one of my favorite colors. I want to welcome you to Healthy Living with Marilyn. Thank, Thank you, you so much for um, coming on and being on the show to enlighten my viewers, your viewers, everybody's viewers mm -hmm. about what to wear for success. So, how did you get into this this business of image? Actually, I think I was trying to think of when that really started for me. And it started uh, when I got my cosmetology license, which was in 2001. It was my odyssey into beauty. And mm. then I started volunteering for the Cancer Society with their Look Good, Feel Better program. Ah. And that is a nationwide program for women undergoing cancer treatment to mm -hmm. help them overcome the side effects on their appearance. Right. And that I did that for 12 years. I was a... Um, uh, regional trainer to train other people to teach the classes. That really got me into it. But then when I was laid off from a state job uh, several years ago, I started to do consulting as a volunteer mm -hmm. for women who were out of work looking for a job through Career Prospectors, 
which is a wonderful organization for anybody to join for free if they're out of work. Right. And that really catapulted that. And then I've just turned it into a business to actually get paid to try to inspire people to look at themselves a little differently and stretch above that what their normal reach is and try something different for themselves. Get out of your comfort zone. Mm. Totally. Get out of your comfort zone and go get something fabulous that looks great on you. I know. You. I'm looking at all my favorite colors I over know, there. I know. All my favorite colors over here. And go do that. It's so mm -hmm. important. It. I don't. When I put makeup on, it took me a while to get my makeup on. And I, mm -hmm. I don't wear makeup all the time because I've got to go to Alter Sephora. Um, Sephora. Um, Linda gave me some ideas on makeup that is hyperallergenic and I need something hyperallergenic mm -hmm. because even my eyes now are starting to itch a little bit and mm, sensitive so it's very sensitive very yeah. sensitive but I wanted to try something new for my eyes mm -hmm. and I just got out some other stuff it's like oh Marilyn just be creative mm -hmm. you know but if your eyes burn just throw it out or yeah take it back mm -hmm. I could do that I could do that but um anyhow um I don't dress up all the time when I'm home mm -hmm. I don't I don't put on makeup when I'm watching the boys because they don't care what grandma looks like. No, they just want you to know, know that you're there. Pardon me? They just want to know that you're there. Yeah, they That's just want they hugs and cuddle presence, and they presence. want to play and, mm -hmm. you know, get on the floor with Legos and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And, you know, I'm, I'm the normal grandma. But when I go out, that's when I dress up. Sometimes even when I go to the grocery store now, because when you go to yes. the grocery store, you, you never know to. who That's you're right. going to meet. Because you're always exactly. healthy living with Marilyn, no matter where you are. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. I always got to make sure I have these glasses on, too. <laughs> so, even though I'm going to get new glasses after the mm -hmm. first of the year, mm -hmm. because I'm going to get my eyes checked. Okay. So, I'm excited about that, but I want to get the non-glare glasses. Oh, yes. Non-reflective. Right. These are just readers, mm -hmm. but I want to get readers that are non-glare. Prescription okay. glasses. Right. 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 Prescription readers. All I want is readers. I don't want the line. Mm -hmm. I just want reader frame, you know, reader lenses. Or close that's it. up. Right. So um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Even when Peter Nardone, you know, says, oh, we're going to do a, we're going to do this thing for you. We're going to do this him. task. I so do too. Cool. He is He's so cool. cool. He's amazing. So Peter, if you're out there, I'll see you on January 8th. <laughs> so anyhow. But um, so you talk about different colors and you wear a lot of blue. Yes. Um, uh, gemstone colors, mm -hmm. which is what I generally wear and advise people to wear. Mm -hmm. That oh. blushes up onto your face and gives you a glow and a sense of well-being. And that's why I brought a little chart that we can share. Yes, this chart. Uh, talk about this. I use this when I give workshops for um, different groups of people, depending. One, one of them is knock them dead at any age, and the other is wear the look of success, which is more for businesses, mm -hmm. uh, to businesses that have staff and to have professional development. So it's wonderful when managers recognize that in their staff. And I go through a series of things they should be thinking about when they purchase clothes mm -hmm. for their body shape and their proportion. Right. And in with that, it's, a, it's about an hour and a half presentation. And I pop this into it. So if you want to go over this quickly. Yeah, I'm going to show this. Michael, if you can zero in on this. And I have is it here. Is that a possibility? This is why I brought this. Can you see it here? Yeah. Okay. This is a really interesting chart. Very mm -hmm. colorful. I can't wait to learn what it. How yeah, to use me it. too. Me too. So Did you get it, Michael? Great. So the the top circle of mm -hmm. colors is emotional triggers of color so we don't realize when we put colors on it does say something about us and mm -hmm. so for me I wore blue today blue happens to be good when you're being uh, photo photographed anyway but when you look at our chart here for photos of the blue it's trust it's trust and it's honesty it's authority you see a lot of politicians you see salespeople mm -hmm. wearing a blue, blue. jacket mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all the time and mm -hmm. they'll often wear red tie with that so if you look at red I usually wear a red sweater when I'm making a presentation because I want to create some excitement energy um, instill a feeling of power to people who are taking my classes to sort of initiate some empowerment self-empowerment for them to take action themselves and that's very passionate 
people with red cars generally have more speeding tickets and yeah red yes. stimulates the appetite in restaurants when they yes. have tablecloths and that kind of thing well the other thing is a lot of restaurants their logos are in red because I have found the reason why they do that is because they want to make you hungry mm -hmm. it red, stimulates the appetite red it does. stimulates the Very appetite aggressive and, color right Right. So, and now that we know that, when we wear these colors, you just have a sense of what you might be attracting by doing that. And uh, one of my favorites is purple. I and love purple. purple is uh, royalty. Mm -hmm. that is and it makes you feel special when you just know that, mm -hmm. when you wear it. And that is a very creative color. And the, the color wheel that's underneath that shows the, the round one is basically understanding color theory and how that relates to because what you are... Um, wearing so right. that that's a big jump start when you want to accessorize your yeah, outfit. And these are the different um, shades. Right. Like you got red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange. So there are three like the primary rainbow. colors. Right. Red, yellow, and blue are primary colors mm -hmm. in nature. They cannot be um, you can't uh, make them. You can't make them. But when you start combining them, that is how you get the secondary right. colors. And so if you want to have an accent color and you want to make sure that it is right, that it feels mm -hmm. good, just go straight down the line. Go from the primary color mm -hmm. red, go straight down to green. And mm -hmm. so if you wear a red dress, if you do some green uh, shoes or green um scarf or something with red and green in it you mm -hmm. know that is going to work well together well now a lot of people are wearing red and green anyhow because it's holidays, holidays, <laughs> holidays you can start singing christmas mm -hmm. carols right so that's the same thing with violet and yellow work really mm -hmm. really well together so it's real it's very nice to have this color wheel with you and i think this is going to be on your website is that yeah. going to be available for people to print out yeah i'll i'll make sure that it's on my website i'll put it on my healthy living with Marilyn website so people can print it out I'll get in touch with um, my web designer tomorrow it, these are yeah. all over the internet but I put them together in one place mm -hmm. so right. so people can be shopping and think of what's a good accent color with mm -hmm. clothes to make a plain black dress be much more exciting than just a plain right. bra which is my next color. question because black does not exist on here so what does black say about a person when they're wearing black black can be put off a little bit Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see a lot of bankers and financial planners, money people wearing black suits. Mm -hmm. And that can be standoffish if you don't warm that up with the color. Mm. So you just have to be careful with black. So does my bling daunting. warm me up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Your bling gets you going, girlfriend. It definitely gets you. You are sparkling. <laughs> you are sparkly tonight. But and, and your hair... Your hair matches the silver. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's just you. That's just, I, I coordinate by my hair, though. Right, I'm sure you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think it looks great. It does. You could also use the color around your neck mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or colored earrings. Okay. So that warms it up. So or a and, colored hairband. Mm -hmm. Headband okay. or that's right. A headband would be nice. Or do you wear earrings at all? Yeah. Yes, you she do. She wears earrings all the time. <laughs> see, it's kind of blended in with your uh -huh. hair. I couldn't see. Okay. So color, I love color because I have snow white hair. Mm -hmm. So I don't put so anything on that isn't a pop of red or a pop bright. of purple. Yeah. But I mean, I had my purple scarf and hat on. Yeah, she acid. came in with her purple with scarf, purple. Mm -hmm. her purple hat, and she had black and purple gloves on. Yes. She was smashing. <laughs> smashing. It's color. It's yes. all about mm -hmm. color. It it's is. Color. It is. So you must have felt um, very creative today and spiritual, right? Mm -hmm. Is yes, that how did you feel today when you wore your purple? Be honest. Um, oh, honestly, I mean, I I feel um, on purpose, very much on purpose oh, when I'm wearing my purple, um, and I always feel very um, centered mm -hmm. because that's that's my true my true favorite color. Um, and and I feel in tune, in with tune my spirituality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's Rather good. royal. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to say queenly, but yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. We mind your children and your very, grandchildren. Very diva esque. Yeah. <laughs> good. Well, it's all about the way we think. And so uh -huh. when I give my classes, my workshops, we talk about that, and we I spend a little bit of time of what we think we attract. Mm -hmm. and the law of, of uh, it's harmony, mm -hmm. the law of attraction, mm -hmm. and it goes back to the perception of how we feel about ourselves. And mm -hmm. so, right. And speaking of how you feel about yourselves, Lisa this weekend is having a yeah she's having a um, whole new level of energy nutrition mm. workshop this weekend, 
at um, 3231 East Weyburn Road, Richmond. It's on the south side, mm -hmm. 23235. Do you know where that is, James? Mm -hmm. It's off of Forest Hill. Off, off of Forest yeah. Hill on December 9th on Saturday, and it starts at uh, 1030. Okay. So if anybody wants to go, um, give her a call. Her phone number is... If I could find it here, 804, I should know it as much as I talk yes. to her, 804-539-3251, or you can um, go on her website, lisahealthy.com, or you can email her at lisa at lisahealthy.com. So she would love to have you come this weekend. She's also an adjunct professor at U of R. Mm -hmm. She teaches sleep. And um, no, she's very knowledgeable, very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. And um, so if you are interested in learning more about energy nutrition, because she does a lot with energy and the emotion code and everything, um, she's wonderful to be around. She's got great positive energy and she is loaded with information to help people. So you can give her a call at 804-539-3251 or you can contact her at lisa at lisahealthy.com. And she got a new blog a couple weeks ago about sleep and she entitled it, Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep. Oh, I've read it. It's a great blog. So go on her website and enlighten yourself about the um, benefits of getting enough sleep oh, yes. mm -hmm. because if we don't recharge our bodies yes. we won't be functioning during the day True. i love sleep i do too it's one of my favorite things in fact i took a nap this afternoon it Me was too. great yeah <laughs> yeah she came in my door and she starts yawning i said Are you okay? she says, oh i just woke up from a nap I was like, great now you're ready to rock and roll yes, so yes. But it is really important to think about the colors that you're wearing during the day. Right. And take a chance. Yeah. Think yeah. out, get outside your comfort zone. If you've never worn orange, try orange mm -hmm. if that works for you. Right. Um, you've got some things that you can drape. I what, do. What, um, I love that purple. I know. I love that purple. Oh, like you like that purple too. That whole too. stack right there. Uh -huh. Right. So what I do at, at my workshops is at the end of the workshop that's called Knock Them Dead to Any Age. It's actually a, it's a game that we play, and people go mm -hmm. into teams, and I have questions and answers and lessons, and the team that gets the most answers, one of them gets a makeover oh, yeah, right there cool? as the winner, and then I drape colors. And so I'm going to take a couple colors, just move across here. Will that work, or do you want me to work with uh, you right Just here? work with me right here. Oh, okay. so, so if I were to... Because you'll lose, you know, we don't have... We have stationary microphones. So you don't want You can so. just pass one this way. You can when pass you one to her, uh -huh. though. Okay. She could drape it. Okay. Just put that around your neck. Just wrap it around. Now, let's see if that does anything for there you. There you go. Okay. But I remember one day when I was out to visiting Linda at when we were at Panera one day, and you said, oh, pastels. People shouldn't wear pastels. Why? Uh, well, it, de it depends on the color of their skin and the okay. tone, but usually it washes people out. I don't feel It does that. not do, no, do anything. I don't feel this, but if you add that to it, yeah. All right. Put well. this one on there with it. Yeah. Yeah, put that over it. That pa layer it. That passed all the way up. Ooh. All the way no, up. All the way up. All the That's it. Oh, there you go. That matches your hat. Yes. Yes. And what about this? I love red. That's, That's my... Jacob's favorite color. He loves That's red. that power red. Yeah, my car is red. Uh-huh. My see? son, when he came in, he got a red truck from that he rented from the airport. Red? It's a very, Yeah. See, I think that is, that's, an, mm -hmm. that's a nice yeah. warm I like red. that. A lot of, I like that it's a lot. It's got blue in it. It has blue in it. Yep. Doesn't it? It's not like an orange red. It's a mm -hmm. blue red. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. With my chakra balance. Now, what, yeah. I, yeah. what I do at my red. workshops is everybody votes. Uh -huh. on the best colors for the person who's serving as model. So your peers are voting on the best colors for you, which See? I think makes a big difference. Yeah, that's you. This is me. That's See? closer to you. Yeah. As opposed to a lot, lot of people wear brown and beige. I, I don't wear brown. As a child, but I always they do, wanted to wear they brown. They think the neutral colors, you know, it can't go Because I didn't want to be seen, so this. I always wanted to wear it now. Uh -huh. No, nah, it makes me look yellow. It's awful. It's mm -hmm. terrible. But Don't, a lot of people do that. You'll never see me in this color, friends, ever. So never. some people will have a beige jacket. It. What would it look you could like put with your the blue? blue? The what blue and brown. Like with, well, like with the blue, if it's with farther the brown away from jacket. Mm -hmm. How does that look, friends? 
Let me know. Put your comments on there. How does the uh, blue? I still don't look like it. I still don't like it either. I still but. don't like it. Let me know how you like the blue. I used to have a car this color. This is like my ultimate favorite color. I love teal, but this is my ultimate favorite color. And my first car was red, my, and my car now is now red. Now, what about monochromatic wardrobes? Do we know what that means? Yeah, that means Why? that you're just wearing solids. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the same color family. So mm -hmm. it could be two or three shades of uh, blue or two or three shades of green. This wow. might look good on you, though, because of your beautiful skin color. Doesn't look bad. And use this color as well. Put this color on you. Uh, money, with it. Money colors. <laughs> money so, colors. I think money, those money, two money. colors yeah. together would mm -hmm. be really sensational look. I would put, put put the dark green up there first. And that, and then put the light green down. Put the light underneath it. Yeah, yeah. Over top. So this. Yeah. And, and make it snug. I mean, make, put wrap it around your neck. Wrap it around your neck. That's it. There. And then that. Mm, mm -mm. Put the red there. The red and the green? Yeah. I would never wear red and green together. Really? No. Uh, that doesn't, that's very Christmassy to me. Yeah. yeah. I would never wear those two together. But I would wear red and purple together. Put the red and the purple Red and together. purple? Yeah. And, and they and vibrate together. those two colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've got do the purple orange. underneath that. I would do orange and purple. Really? Mm-hmm. Now here's an orange. I brought yeah, this. Yeah, I love orange and purple. Oh, look at this yeah. one. Now that's I a shawl of mine. That's pretty, Marilyn. I look like at that. The fabric here. That's very nice. That's good. For that's you. very nice really? on you. Yeah, orange. Sam, and, what do you your think? Your orange and turquoise. He's looking like meh. I think it looks terrific. What do you all think? I Let like me that. know, friends, what you think about this color on me. Be honest. Mm -hmm. It looks bad. Say, hey, Marilyn, find another color. I think it works with the turquoise. Does it? Uh huh. With the turquoise glasses? Well, mm -hmm. that's following the color scale. The color scale on your chart. Ah, see, it goes right across. To it, it goes right across. Ah. Straight across. Right. And so, and now, the colors next to each other are also always working together. So, if you have yellow, yellow, green, and yellow, orange, you can always ah. put these colors together. Mm. Analogous colors always do work that's why it's hmm. nice to ca carry this with you in your yeah, wallet and somewhere the thing about it is you can carry that in your wallet fold it up for shopping up. Yeah. Oh. so when you're shopping oh, that might make shopping more fun because i don't like to shop i don't either try I this either. oh now see i like that too that's that's like a magenta mm-hmm i love i love the feel of this fabric it's oh, thank so you beautiful. i know this is, is cuddly oh now that looks nice. i think that really looks nice with lipstick see, to go with see. it I have to go back and look at the video and You're see. You're going to have to. Yeah. So, p friends, let let us know what you think about Josie with the magenta on here. I can look in your window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, Josie. I that, like that with your outfit. Love, now put uh -huh. the purple on there. See? Mm -hmm. Nice. I don't like them together so much. But I both of those are good for her. Cool. Now, a little accent in the like design a of your bit outfit. Of purple right. in it, but right. not like a whole. Right. right. It's too strong yeah. combination like together. That. But that is very nice the way it blushes up on her mm -hmm. complexion. Mm -hmm. And with lipstick to go with that. Yeah, your lipstick it brings out pretty much lipstick. matches mm -hmm. that, um, that magenta. I love magenta. What does it look like on me? Not too bad. Not that, too yeah, bad. I, it's uh -uh. not my favorite color no, on me. No, uh -uh, but not too bad, right. though. I have some tops about this color. Mm -hmm. But I like... I like solids, and people are saying, oh, Marilyn, you got peacocks on today. Yeah, I have peacocks on. I love peacocks. And this is like my ultimate favorite. Now, this looks good on you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Very good. It's rich. Very, it has a very, lot of pigment mm -hmm. to the color. Mm -hmm. Do you have any purple yes, grape? I do. I do. Um, I wear a lot of solid good. tops. Good. And people are saying, you know, like I said, you got peacock, peacocks on it. Well, I do wear... On, on the set, I do wear, you know, prints, some design. Some design, but I don't have a lot in my closet that's design. I'll have like a solid top and I'll wear like a silk print over it, a jacket. Okay. And I do that. But as far as wearing a lot of prints, I really don't have a lot of prints. A lot of Well, prints solid. will exaggerate the size of the part of the body that you're right. wearing. Right. And that's the last thing I need in is this day and time. It seems like people are going for what what used to be contrary to dressing 
you know, you see a lot of people with bottoms, with circles and, you know, all kinds of colors. And I'm always shocked because, you know, growing up, I always knew you never accent a whole lot on the bottom. You do brighter at the well, top. Well, it depends on your shape. And that's what, mm-hmm. one thing that I teach is the shape of your body in my mm-hmm. classes and what is the best look for that body mm-hmm. shape. And that's an eye-opening experience for a lot of people. Yeah, never well, really you know, the it. good thing about um, doing this and taking care of yourself is also getting some exercise. And um, I have a friend. Yeah, she let that say (laughs) way. Um, My friend, Aubrey Eicher, has Mm -hmm. a business called Richmond Wellness. She is my personal trainer because I needed some help. Mm. I really did. Excellent. Yes. And um, she has a special right now that's going on. It's a six-week program that will take you into the new year stronger than you were before. Excellent. And I have found that when I start exercising like I have been, last Saturday I went totally out of my comfort zone and I did hot yoga. Mm, it is something that I've always wanted to do. (laughs) What is that? Can you explain what that is? Hot yoga is... It's yoga in a very hot room. Oh, what's with the temperature? Higher hum- it was like 100. Oh, 100. a sauna. I've heard that it's been hotter than that in some cases. Yeah, well, the humidity is what. Okay. And their humidity was 40%, but I've known of other places that have a higher humidity, but I wasn't going to that, uh, that other place. But anyhow, I went with Aubrey, and I almost, it was 45 minutes, and I almost chickened out. I almost did. But I said, no, I'm going. So I sat here, and I knitted half a hat. While I was, because it wasn't till, I didn't have to leave and get over there till one fifteen, mm. and it's only eight minutes from my house, so I really didn't Gorgeous. have an excuse. Look at I her. I love that. Yeah. Vibrant. Love it. And those are two colors in there. It's very reflective of yellow, which is great with your skin tone. Mm-hmm. Mm. But anyhow, um, Aubrey, if you want to take advantage of this during the holiday season to keep you focused, Mm -hmm. to keep you going, to keep you away from all the wonderful cookies and candy and everything that's out there that I don't have any of that in my house. I'm so proud of myself. Um, Give her a call at 804-367-3589 or you can email her at aubrey at richmond-wellness.com. She's been... She's been such a motivator. She will really motivate you. And when you start feeling better and you start taking some weight off, that's the time to go get some clothes. A new wardrobe. A new wardrobe. <laughs> right. So that, that's Celebrate. Gonna be, that's going to be my just reward for getting getting the weight off that I need to get off. So um, give her a call and get in touch with her at um, 804-367-3589. She's down in the fan on Robinson. Mm-hmm. She's got a cute little studio down there. It's a lot of fun. Now this week she said to me, she says, we're going to go for a walk. We're going to walk. I was like, okay. And she says, no, on the treadmill. So I'm not walking on no treadmill. I am not walking on a treadmill. It is Why beautiful not? outside. Oh, yeah. that's we're going to walk outside. Mm-hmm. You well. know? So, and it was gorgeous. It was like 60 degrees. Good. It was perfect walking weather. And if it's perfect walking weather, mm-hmm. you shouldn't be yeah. inside on the treadmill. You should be outside going for a walk. And we walked over half a mile. Mm-hmm. So, And you I, had each other to talk to. That's right. That makes a difference. That's right. That's right. And we walked fast. I mean, she booked it. Oh, so, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She booked it. So, she, if you want a challenge... If mm-hmm. you feel you need to um, get a little bit motivation because you might be floundering like I was, give her a call because she's awesome. So give Aubrey a call. Take charge. Take charge. Take charge of your health because when you take charge of your health, you will start finding ways to become successful. The success will just fall mm-hmm. right into your lap. Right, Jay? Absolutely. It's right? like a magnet. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And when you start feeling better, you start and you start attracting people of like mind, of like mm-hmm. energy, it's it's great for you. It's I great agree. for you. I want to see that blue color yeah, that you I got over about there. That. This yeah. baby that one that's sure. hanging. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oops, watch out. That Is one. That you? A robin's egg. Robin's egg blue. I love it. What do you think, Joe? Yep. What do you think of people? Let me know what you think about the Robin. Oh, Zen likes this one. He oh, likes he this smiled? one. Uh, yeah, he put thumbs up. He likes this one. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a vibrant color. Now, uh-huh. what about you? Why don't you drape this around? Drape that around you. Ooh. Fabulous. That looks awesome, Joe's. 
That looks terrific. You gotta watch the show after. Uh, Oops, no, I did the same thing. That yeah, and that orange that was fabulous. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that color. Robin's egg blue. I like that. Yeah. I Shopping. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I can see it. I can see it. Joe's will have to go together. Make it that a day. That sounds good. Make it a day. Now, I want to see brown. And the reason why is growing up... Um, Did you wear a lot of brown? I wore a lot of brown. Did you? Because I didn't like a lot of color. My mother was a seamstress. And she made me brilliant, bright clothes. I remember a cape that and was yellow and blue. And so what did you do? You didn't wear and them? Blue. I just felt very uncomfortable in it. Uh, well, guess why? Put it around your neck. Yeah. But I loved brown because I thought it made me invisible. <laughs> it does. It did. It does make you Smart invisible. child. Smart it child. does uh -huh. make you invisible. Mm -hmm. And I was very insecure and shy, and so See? I didn't want to stand out. This all goes back to childhood. Now mm -hmm. put the put the robin's egg blue on there. But with this, right? Oh yeah. Because I've got a brown dress, and I do orange with it. Okay. What about the blue? The blue looks good. That looks mm -hmm. good too. Yeah. But that that brown girl, it just it's like where's Josie? Where I like you? the green with the brown. Mm -hmm. too. I do too. I, mean, that I don't like good. brown, but that, mm -hmm. it depends on how much what brown I do there with is. Uh -huh. I have one brown outfit in my um, my closet. I don't and even so have any brown in that, will, of that color. I, I do the jewelry because it's just a simple brown dress, and I do I usually do red in it because those are actually the colors for my business. It used to be red and brown. Mm -hmm. from, that's why I got the red car because I wanted to represent. So oh, let us know, consistent. friends, what you think mm -hmm. about these colors on us. I really want you guys to participate and let us know what you think because Josie and I, someday soon, we might be going We're shopping, go shopping for clothes. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Yeah. Maybe we'll take Linda with us. Uh -huh. She oh, can we, tell we us. We need to take Linda we with us. We need to take Linda with us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just make a day of it. What about yeah. that green, that mint green? Isn't that a mint green? It is. Sea I foam. love show and tell. I love show sea and foam. tell. See, here's very pale, sea which foam. I don't like. Yeah, that's the color of my house. A sea foam? <laughs> sea foam. <laughs> um, with something, what do you with, think? With something else What do y'all think? Well, I got this great necklace mm -hmm. that Linda made for me. She came over one day, what, last weekend, and she made this beautiful necklace for me. I was just very, very mm -hmm. touched. Yeah, you know. so it, it works with your turquoise. It works with my turquoise glasses. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, because Ed says i got to wear these all the time um, because they're my brand. <laughs> so I but do wear them. that doesn't do them. anything yeah. like the richness. Right. No, this is mm -hmm. like my ultimate yeah, don't favorite. don't even bother. Mm -hmm. This is, I used to have a car this color. Mm -hmm. I used to have an Elantra. You see, look at that. I mean, you yeah. really shine. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is my favorite color. Yeah. So, I have a dress. So you could color. do several colors of blue. Right. Mm -hmm. Two to three colors. That's monochromatic. Right. Always more slenderizing as well. And man, I need mm. slenderizing. Oh yes. So how I do want... you do the colors to make it slenderizing? How do you do? Well, the do, well, just by having in the same color family, mm -hmm. blue, blue, and blue. Mm -hmm. and, and do you you're not the breaking darker, up the body? With the darker the blue towards the center to slim you in. Well, it depends on your body shape. So okay. yeah. if you're, so if I needed to slim in, I'd do a darker blue. Always the darker middle. below the waist. Okay. If you have a pear shape, we go into the apple okay. pear. Oh, I have a carrot different. shape. A carrot I'm a, shape? Yes. I decided one day. <laughs> You're not a carrot. Apples, apples and pears. A guy made that up. There's got to be other vegetables and fruit out there. Strawberry. So I am. Um, Strawberry is a wider shoulder. Then you narrow down. Well, mm -hmm. carrots big up on the top, and then you narrow down. So that's more of an apple. It depends on where you're carrying your weight. Apple has more in the waist, so we have a rounder figure. Then we narrow or so go down. So that's one of the things mm -hmm. we discuss in my workshop. I still feel I'm a carrot, so I like the orange. No, know? we're not talking about colors. We're talking no, about body shapes. No, I know. Shapes. I, oh, know. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. You can be any vegetable you want. That's right. I want to be a celery someday. So I'm some grapes. Ah, okay, <laughs> grapes. that's fine. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> There's other vegetables and fruits you can be besides a an apple and a pear. That's the way the I The industry look at it. has just named it that. That's so. right. Mm -hmm. And they were probably guys that did it. Of course. Well, of course. But they do it for men too. I mean, I have a slide that has men and women, and they're mm -hmm. still called the You're same right. shape. You're right. You're right. But anyhow, I think that we can incorporate other vegetables and fruits mm -hmm. in our bodies, in oh, the shape absolutely. of our bodies. Yeah, whatever you, you know, can. I don't mind being a strawberry, you be. bigger on the shoulders, and you and know, narrow down. Narrow down because I. I'm much more narrow down than I, I don't have hips. Oh, know. so you go straight. So you would wear fuller leg pants. Would, Probably. And that would be <laughs> more of that, the balance. That, Sometimes that I wear tighter, little tighter pants because of my waist. 
And because this is where all my weight okay, is. Okay, that's in the my apple core. shape. Yeah, but I don't want to be an apple. Okay. So well, I'll be apples are wonderful. <laughs> Honey <laughs> crisp, gala apples. Yeah, that'll keep that'll keep my waist away, right? Okay, okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll take my class, and you'll learn the rest of it. Yeah, I will. I will. So when's your next class? Actually, I'm doing a class next Tuesday the 12th for I think it's going to be 42 realtors. Wow. Mm. Wow. Get them out of the drab colors they wear. Because they're on stage all the time. They're in sales, mm -hmm. just like yeah. I am. So for sales, what's the best color for people who are in sales? What do you think? What do you think is good for you? For sales. Well, in the reds. Yep. Because energy, excitement, passion, yep. action. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. The blues, authority, honesty. You want people to be honest. But so, purple too, because of quality, creativity. Well, but red is a high energy color. Mm -hmm. It yeah. is. So to That's wear Jacob's something favorite red. Color. So to accessorize with red and men, everything is, seems to be so downplayed now with clothes, and I still think that we're not taken as seriously mm -hmm. when we are jean down as a professional, making a living, I know. working with other people. So I've come up with a whole uh, concept of how you can brand yourself mm -hmm. so that you become a magnet for conversation with someone that can lead to potential business. Mm -hmm. So you really want people, like when I wear this necklace, I meet so many people. And as mm -hmm. soon as I see them staring at me, then I piece. can figure out a way to start a conversation. Mm -hmm. And you never know when that can lead. And that's, that's exactly what realtors need. Yeah, and I really feel that people need to wear something, some scarf or jewelry that is going mm -hmm. to really captivate another and person. And brand them. And brand them. Mm -hmm. Like, I wear my glasses. Now, to mm -hmm. me, glasses are... They are a necessity for me because I need oh, to see. Me too. However, they're also my jewelry, mm -hmm. in my yes. opinion, because it's a piece of jewelry that I wear on my face because I'm not going to have piercings on my face, and that doesn't do anything for and me. And it's attractive. You have a great color. Mm -hmm. Yes. And well, people can remember that. Right. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people say, oh, I love your glasses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love your frames. There's, I get a lot of compliments so on So that's your frames. brand. Right. It, it's my brand. It's your, that's that's it. what I talk about Ed so Peterson much. made this my brand. Mm -hmm. And one day when I t put a picture out there, and Michael's laughing, I put a picture out there that that Michael had, um, that Ed had made a um, print of mm -hmm. with um, my, my, my Healthy Living with Marilyn. And it was a picture that he chose without my glasses. Oh. And he said to me when I put it out on Facebook, he said, where's your glasses? Mm -hmm. He said, where'd you get that picture? I said, you made it for me. I did? He says, where's Never your glasses? Again. He says, you need to wear your glasses mm -hmm. because they're your brand. It's your identifier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my glasses are my brand. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if my I want to be... My one headshot that I use is my brand. Mm -hmm. Yep. And sometimes when um, I want to be incognito, I leave these glasses home and wear other That's ones. right. But I it's do. consistent. And the mm -hmm. idea that I teach is to have something that you consistently wear so that people connect that with you. So what's your brand? Is it your earrings? Because you always seem to wear those earrings. Uh, it's usually it's a necklace that I wear or a big scarf. A and big people scarf. always seem to remember that. Mm -hmm. And it starts a conversation. So. so what you need to do, friends, is you need to find something that is going to brand you that makes you special. That a nobody else brand. has. A, a positive, positive brand, brand that mm -hmm. makes you special. Right, Linda? Yeah, it could be a bow tie for, for a men. Man. Even mm -hmm. um, all different ages, men are wearing bow ties. Mm -hmm. If you have a Iris Setter dog, start collecting pins. Pins. And well, wear it's like a big pin. Madeline Albright used to wear huge brooches. Big, and mm -hmm. when she started wearing these brooches... You know, she started wearing them mm -hmm. when she became a public figure, and then she was wearing them all the time. Yeah, all the that's a slide yeah. on my mm -hmm. presentation. First lady um, Michelle it? Obama yeah. wore pearls. Yeah, you and know, pearls yeah. were well known. And when she started Barbara wearing Bush, those, that became really popular. Barbara Bush wore three strands of pearls, mm -hmm. three or four strands. Always. Yeah, always, mm -hmm. always. You would it has never to be see, consistent. It would. Mm -hmm. You would never see Barbara Bush without those strands of mm -hmm. pearls ever. And who was the one? Bella Abzug always wore mm -hmm. a huge hat. Oh, yeah. Correct. She's True. she's from New York, mm -hmm. and she mm -hmm. always wore a huge hat with a wide brim. Yes, yep. and, and, and you remember what, that? Yes, mm -hmm. and that's what I remember about her. Mm -hmm. 
no. other than her very New York accent. But say a lot but, of people don't know what branding means. No, they don't. So if if and that's something that I like to talk about if I have time during my presentations, that look at each other, pick a partner, and try to think of how you would describe that individual to me wanting to meet her or him at a meeting. How would I know how to find that person? Yeah, what well, is people, it distinctive about that person? People say to me, when people want to meet me, it's like, look for the lady with the, the, glasses. With the teal glasses. Mm -hmm. She sticks right out, mm -hmm. you know, the teal glasses. And you weren't so. afraid to do a color like that. Some people no. would not want to do that. They wouldn't feel comfortable with people staring at them, but people staring with admiration is totally different mm -hmm. right. than, than doing something or wearing something that is just so inappropriate. It's a, it's a nice way to meet someone right? and do it all the time. Right. Make right. it fun. Make it fun. Make your wardrobe fun. Go looking through your wardrobe, and if you're like me, that a lot of times I'll wear solids, I will put a necklace or I will mm -hmm. wear a scarf. I and love that makes wearing it. scarves. Love wearing them. And I, I knit, so I have a little lot of knitted scarves. I have scarves that, have, that I knitted with beads in them. Mm -hmm. Oh, fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, I have scarves that you know, have what they call ladder in them and, you know, different, not just textured. plain old yarn. Mm -hmm. They're Texture. textured. Yeah. That scarf that I had on there, I made that scarf. Excellent. And oh, perfect. it's got ribbons and it's got a whole bunch of different stuff. And mm. I've had that scarf for like 20 years. And you love it. And I love it. Right. And I will never get rid of it. And it's got brown and gold and everything. Mm -hmm. So it goes with everything. It, got, it does. Well, you could make a capsule wardrobe. Do mm -hmm. you know what that is? No. Capsule wardrobe can be in two different versions, but one would be put outfits together and hang them up in your closet. Oh, so, so all you got to do is pull oh, it out. okay. You yeah. pull it I out. I should do that. In a capsule. I've been trying to color coordinate my closet. But have it ready. You pull it up. You know people have always commented that jacket always looks so nice okay. with that blouse mm -hmm. or sweater. And the slacks, we may not have so many slacks or skirts mm -hmm. to do that. But pick it up like that. Or you can put everything in color category. Yeah, mm -hmm. color. That's what I do. I put my blues I together. I, I put my purples together. Sometimes I get done. discombobulated and they get messed it, up because I'm in a hurry. But the capsule wardrobe really does solve yeah, that, the that issue when people sense. don't know yeah. what to wear. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's a good idea. So, so you can put you can put a scarf on with the, you know, on mm -hmm. the hanger with with and it's top. ready to go. And it's ready mm -hmm. to go. All you got to do is pull. Oh, this is what I want. It'll be a time saver, whole, mm -hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> How much time That's do women spend in the closet? Oh, my God, don't. And don't go there. And a lot on. of men are clueless, and they say their wives or their, you know, their women dress them. But it would be nice if they actually mm -hmm. put together my those. My husband tends to dress me. Oh, he he likes to That's unusual. Me. He shops for me. Does and, he? And Very and nice. Things that he buy, I would never buy, but when I put it on, I love it. Mm -hmm. And it always amazes me because I look and I was like, mm, I don't know about that. And then I put it on and I'm like, wow, well, it, it works. And that's what happens when you learn a little bit about color and about your body shape. Mm -hmm. What are the best looks to start looking for and give away the old clothes that the, yeah, the knitting thinking. is has the little balls all over. Yeah, yeah I was that's, thinking that's about getting, bunch, getting rid of a, lot, a bunch of stuff give and then going to Aubrey's class and then be ready for the new year. Mm -hmm. Ah, Get you rid of call it, Aubrey. tax, tax right. right off, end of the year. That's right. Take That's it, right. donate it, and then start That's the new right. year as a new year. That's right. And, she, you know, Aubrey is taking new clients now. Mm -hmm. So And she is getting busier than a one arm paper hanger, I'll tell mm -hmm. you. She's oh, that's really fabulous. She's getting busy. So do you work with people to create a capsule closet? That uh, would be really interesting. I do. I do. Okay. Yeah, I do. I'm, right now, I'm really building this business because uh -huh. I just love talking to people for an hour and a half awesome. and putting them through my program. Yeah, that's great. Um, talking about new programs, mm -hmm. um, if you uh, are taking care of a mom or a mm -hmm. dad or a disabled person, you might want to start thinking about getting some time to, for yourself. And All Nurses Care down in Mechanicsville, um, Angela Lawrence and Owen Lawrence have this great um, business called All Nurses Care where they have people all over the 50, 50 mile radius from Powhatan down to Tappahannock, a lot of different places that will help you if you need a break from taking care of mom or dad mm. or if you have a disabled person that you're helping out. Um, so give them a call. Um, they take care of people 24 seven 
and they are on call 24 7 so you can call them at 804-559-0322 somebody will answer the phone they're in mechanicsville have a lovely place down there a lovely office and they have wonderful wonderful um helpers down there and a great um it's very homey down there very homey i've been there before it's lovely so if people are having you need some break from mom or dad give angela or owen a call at 804-559-0322 and speaking of ways to take care of yourself Linda also is an artist, and she's done some wonderful artwork. And what do you have there, Linda, that you did? That well, looks like a, it's a dog. It's a dog. Oh, yes, thank you for letting me share this. This is another business mm -hmm. that I started several years ago. People send me a photo via mm -hmm. the Internet of a pet or at the child <laughs> or grandchildren, and I create a keepsake painting of mm -hmm. that photo, oh, inspired wow. by that photo. And it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing. I love doing it, and I have been doing it for several years. Mm -hmm. So that's oh, basically nice. all I need. This was done as a wedding present, mm -hmm. and it went over really, really well. And I, I, I so. love I doing love it. I love the little aura of blue around. Yeah. So this came across as a photo of a dog, beige dog on a beige couch in the den with a lot of things in the background. Uh. So mm -hmm. this is something that I love doing. Very and it's lovely. especially good at holiday time. Mm -hmm. So... A great gift mm. to give. A great a gift, gift to give, and she's a wonderful artist. And is that yours behind as yeah, well? Yeah, this was just a bigger one that I put together just to, can you see this oh, that's now? beautiful. Beautiful. These are just, just samples of different ones that I've done. Houses, to actually send me a picture of the house that you just sold or the house that you grew up in. Cute, that she's got ducks sale. down here, mallard ducks. Aren't they adorable? That's because the realtor who hired me to do that is the closing gift for the client. Uh, the client loves ducks and has ducks all over the house. Mm -hmm. And he said I had to put ducks in the huh. painting. My mom so. loves ducks. But my mom used to live at the shore, mm. the Jersey so Shore. So it's and she a just loves creative ducks. outlet for me. And That's great. Well, the beautiful thing gift. about that, too, is, is all the colors there. So mm -hmm. you're bringing what you do with coloring. Right. I can even see that in writing up a room. Oh, yeah. By, right. the, by, the, um, by the painting. And a story about mm -hmm. it as well. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So create a conversation in the you. world. Right. Because color is very important. And color can make you feel great. And color can make you mm -hmm. feel not so good. Right. So mm -hmm. decide what colors are good for you. What what are happy colors? You know, what are your happy colors? It's so important to have colors that are going to make you happy. I mean, dark olive green does not make me happy. You know, but that's just me. But put mm -hmm. that blue on and you put just the blue on you light and up. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I light up. So don't be afraid color. And that's why people will take the neutrals and the basic black all the time. Black on black on black. Black is on easy. Black, black makes that's, you look thin. And it doesn't it's say easy. anything about you. No. So black it's a me, palette. It's it, a palette. It's, it's but a, it's waiting to be. Black is a non-color. It's not really a color. It's a, well, black is it the is. absence of color. Right. Actually. Right. And um, you so can wear chance. black and dress it up. Accessorize it. Accessorize it. Because I have some black dresses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I like, like to wear my <laughs> silk, um, colorful jackets mm -hmm. on them. You know. Right. And that's what I wear with And they my can black. be very slenderizing. Mm -hmm. And you need you to have, have black to in your warm closet. Right. So that you can really accessorize it. Right. You know. Right. right. So I love basic black that you can add to yeah. it. Yeah. I'm looking for one of those dresses. Stella McCartley put it out years ago where the dress is black on the sides and then you've got the color right here. In the center. Mm -hmm. The color in block. The center. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I still um, have one of those. Do you have one of those? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I saw them, but I couldn't find one in my size. And it wasn't a Stella McCarthy. Oh, okay. I can't... Just do, um, do a Google search on color blocking. Color blocking? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll have to do Maybe that. eBay. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't do eBay. I used to be an eBay person, but I don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you get so busy, you know. Well, it just that's true. It takes time to sit down and online. actually get on the Internet and do all it that. It does. It does. But I've been doing a lot of things recently to get out of my comfort zone. Okay. Totally mm -hmm. get out of my comfort zone. And one of the things that um, is good to get out of your comfort zone, what I did was I was an author in writing this book. Yes, you can go for it for achieving your goals. Short stories for other people who have done this, who've done it. And I've done it. But I'm still doing it mm -hmm. oh. because, mm -hmm. yeah. Perpetual. Yes. yes. I. In fact, today on LinkedIn, 
it's been a year since I started Healthy Living with Marilyn. Awesome. Today, oh, congratulations. Today, it's been a year. Thank you. Oh. It's been a year since I started Healthy Living with Marilyn. So I'm really proud of that because I've stuck with it. I've sustained my success. And it's And growing. Chris Salem always says you have, you know, once you become successful, you have to learn to sustain it. And oh, what yes. are you going to do to sustain it? So anyhow, I have this book available. If anybody would like to buy it, it's $15. And I will be more than happy to autograph, autograph it for you which is way cool. And speaking of books, I have a colleague up in Vancouver, British Columbia, out in Canada, who wrote this book called Fiercely Loyal. And Dove Barron's going to be on my show, God willing, in February. Not on my show here. He won't be physically here. He's going to be on Zoom. We'll put the TV behind me, and we're going to do it that way. I'm really thinking outside the box mm -hmm. there. but There is no box, but the yeah. comfort zone. And this book helps people when you get a group of people or you have people that you employ how to keep those employees how to keep the people around you mm -hmm. loyal to you mm -hmm. because a lot of times people come and go and who's going to be loyal to you mm -hmm. and not many not many age. exactly and um you know consider reading this book because it talks about high performance how high performance companies and you don't have to be a high performance company you can just be Somebody a that's out there, a small mm -hmm. shop that's doing something, that's doing something great for the community, and maybe you're making money, which we all want to do, mm -hmm. and see what groups of people you can get under working with you and how loyal they're going to be. So mm -hmm. this is a great book to, to explain how um, high-performing companies and how... Like I said, you don't have to be a high-performing company. Mm -hmm. How you can keep people loyal Excellent. to you. And uh, so that's a great book. Um, you could use that now. There you Always. go. Yeah, yeah I, it's it's a good book to have in your library. Uh, I think you can get it on Amazon. But anyhow, um, so Josie, what's going on with you, girl? What are you doing now other than... <laughs> Well, um, I'm between my two pieces of Soul Purpose and Young Jev and um, and Damsel in Defense. So today I was with um, Network of Enterprising Women at their holiday event, and I represented Damsel. Um, then this weekend I'll be doing some Soul Purpose, some pampering. Where's that going to be? Um, it's at a home party. At a home. It's going to be a home party this weekend. She and, does um, home parties, friends. Mm -hmm, I do home so parties. So how can they get in touch with you? They can call me eight zero four. Three three four one nine four four. I do home pamper parties. I do empower hours for damsel. I do essential oil training and blending, um, and I do speaking engagements. Yeah. And so today was also my Josie's inspirations with Finding My Way Network, which they did a rebroadcast because I was already booked. Oh. And then okay. that relaunches back yeah, in she January. Does radio too. Who do you do radio on? Finding My Way Network with Kayla Paget. Mm-hmm. There you go. So she's busy just like the rest of us. So what is, what is your next? You're going to do a real thing with realtors, right? Right. And I'm waiting for a couple more um, managers to call me back because mm -hmm. they believe in professional and development. And how can, how can people get in touch with you? You can email me at uh, my email address is linda, L-I-N-D-A, dot Rubin, R-U-B-I-N, 8888 at gmail.com. You can do that way, or you can give me a call at 804-299-1157, and I would love to expand what I'm doing and see how I can help. Right. So if you are looking for healthy success, and we all want to be healthy, and we all mm -hmm. want to be successful, give Linda a call. What's your phone number again, Linda? It's 804-299-1157. You know, it is so important to make sure. Thank you, Linda. And thank you so much for your time tonight. Oh, thanks for having me. Um, mm -hmm. Josie, it's colors, always so wonderful yeah. to have you. Always so wonderful. What are you doing next, Marilyn? What am I doing next? Um, I'm taking care of two sick boys tomorrow. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. But that's okay. Um, what am I doing next? Um, I'm doing my next show next Thursday. That's right. And then we'll be breaking for the holidays. And then we're breaking for the holidays. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um... But you're also going to be on another show next oh, week, Oh, yeah, next yeah. Tuesday. Thank you for reminding me. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm going to be on Comcast next Tuesday. I will not be the guest. I mean, I will be the guest. I will not be the host. host. Um, Laurel Herman. Laurel, I hope you're watching out there. Laurel Herman has asked me to be on her show. She wrote a book called The Blissed Out Chef. She is a blissed out chef. She's going to have two other chefs on there. And I'm not a chef. 
I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to make these. She wants us to make some type of food. And so I, I can make these nut balls that somebody that I've learned how to make. Somebody taught me how to make them. And they're what way What kind cool. of nuts? Um, I don't know what I'm going to use. I might use um, walnuts. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put them in a um, food processor with some monk fruit mm. and some dates. And some coconut. Sweet. Yes. Mm, and yum, it's going to be yum. nice and sweet, but it's all going to be natural. And then what we're, I'm going to do, I'm going to bring them, and I'll have some already rolled up in a ball. They're going to be about this big. Mm -hmm. And then we can roll some more up in a ball. That, for mm. me, is easy. It's easy for me to transport people want it. people easy, you know? People yeah, want and easy. It's, people want easy and healthy. Yeah, few ingredients. And mm -hmm. very few ingredients. I like the keep it super simple method, mm -hmm. the KISS method. So if I can do the KISS method and make these cute little balls, um, I don't know, maybe I'll That's put why some... she's got you on the show, to show that you can be creative with cooking and not be a chef. Well, maybe that's, that's right. it. That's I don't know. The non-chef chef. The non-chef non chef. Because non I am show. definitely not the non-chef chef. But there's going to be other chefs on. and So it's on Comcast, um, Channel 95, and Verizon, Channel 36. Am I right, Michael? And I don't remember what time. Is it 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock. It's Tuesday? 6 o'clock Tuesday, December 12th. Okay. On Comcast. I don't know whether she's going to do it on her Facebook page or not, but it will be on Comcast or Verizon. Mm -hmm. I guess if you have Fios. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you have Fios, Michael. Yeah, so if you have Fios, I guess. That's Verizon. I've that's Verizon. So you could watch it probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, so I will be on there next Tuesday. Um, I don't know what I'm doing after that. Okay. I'm just well, we, we'll be back here next Thursday. Yeah, we'll be back here next Thursday. Serana Blackfoot's going to be here. Oh, and we're going to be talking wonderful. about healthy finances. Yeah, yeah, she has a company called Unbroke Women, and we're going to be talking about healthy finances. I know it's the end of the year, but if it's a great time, it's to, a talk great time to talk yes. about it because you can start 2018 mm -hmm. in a fabulous, fantastic mm -hmm. way. And that's what we're all going to do is start in a really, really good mm -hmm. way because it's important to make sure that you're not only healthy, wealthy and wise, but you know, you got your finances in order and you've yeah, got, you don't feel really, you don't feel good or empowered when your money's not right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about getting your money right next week. Mm -hmm. And so Serana's going to be with excellent. us Excellent. She's week. terrific. Yes, she is. She's very good. Uh, she's a great networker, too. She really is. So if you're out there, Serana, you know, we'll see you soon. Um, and I'm going to a networking event next Friday at um, Network Dr. RVA. And it's going to mm -hmm. be at um, the Cobb Technology off of Brook Road. Okay, Brook. Okay. So, and the light's going down. What's going on? Okay. It's bedtime. So, it's bedtime. <laughs> yeah, it's bedtime. So, if you was haven't gotten ready one? to go to bed. Oh. Oh, we lost that a, was it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, Zen, you have something to do later. We lost a, um, we lost a light bulb. We don't even have those squirrely light bulbs, and we still lost the light bulb. So, it's kind of neat in here now, you know. It has different sense of feeling. Yeah. And, um, different color. Actually, right. I like that. I kind of like it, yeah. you know. It's kind of cool. Okay, Michael, Michael just make that. Michael's, <laughs> Michael's brighten up, up. <laughs> brighten up my studio. Brighten up the world. I hope you all have had a wonderful evening with us mm -hmm. and and figured out your color. Let us know what you think about the colors, how it looked on us. If it looked crummy, let us know. If it looked great, let us know. My husband liked the robin's egg blue. I really, mm -hmm. I have... I have a sweater in Robin's Egg Blue that I got mm -hmm. when I went to my son's wedding this past summer. Wear it more often. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I hope everybody has had a wonderful evening. Yes, I yes, hope yes. everybody has a wonderful weekend. And remember to change your life today. And we will see you very, very soon. Be amazing, friends. Be amazing. Do something amazing this weekend. Get out of your comfort zone. Be wonderful. Be amazing. Find happiness. We love you Find all. Bye-bye. All the bright colors to wear. All the bright colors to wear. <laughs> Absolutely.